Hello, everyone, and welcome to Disconnect with ControM. My name is Felipe Casali, and I am a ControM support analyst based in Brazil. Our topic today is managing application accounts with the Automation API. Before start, I would like to share the first pull question. During this webinar, we will talk about the ControM Automation API documentation. Uh, after that, we will see two scenarios where Automation API will be used to help with the account management. For the first scenario, we will see how to manage your run as user accounts using API. Next, we will see how to export and import AFT or MFT accounts using the API. Let's start with the first scenario for today. Supposing that a service account that's used by several critical jobs will have a new password policy and its password is going to be changed every two months. Nobody rather than the security team will have access to the new password. Before Automation API, the password update was executed by the ControM administrator using the CCM. Now, with the Automation API, it's possible to run CLI commands to interact with ControM and set a new password for existing RunAS accounts. It will make this process more flexible, secure, and dynamic. Uh, talking about the second scenario, uh, which is a customer that needs to export and import several file transfer accounts between two different control ends, so dev and prod. Before Automation API, uh, this task could be accomplished using the export connection profile on CCM, uh, but it was limited because you can't export accounts from one enterprise manager to another using the CCM. It's possible only when you have uh, accounts being transferred between ControM servers inside the same EM. Now, with Automation API, it's possible to export connection profiles accounts, such as on file, make changes, and import the new definitions on another ControM enterprise manager. I would like to start our demo showing the ControM Automation API homepage, where you can find all information related to the installation and usage of this product. So for all the comments that, that I will be presenting, you can see more details inside the services. Before I start playing with the comments, I would like to show how my environment is set. So here I have two control M's connected to my API, one called prod and another one called dev. So for the first example, uh, we have a job here, a simple one that's running a who am I command on a Windows machine using the user A. This job failed. And we see here inside the log that the password for job owner user A is not correct, right? I will use the API command to adjust the password. And now I will explain this command. We have here the CTM config server run as user update. The first parameter is the ControM server name, which is called prod. The second one is the agent name. Uh, so here we have user A set for all ControM agents connected to the server and the correct password. Here we have the return saying that the password was updated for this account. And uh, I will go back here to the ControM and rerun this job to confirm that the new password fixed the, the problem. While this job is running, I would like to show other comments. Uh, it's possible to list run as users of a specific enterprise manager. So here we have the CTM config server run as users get for the ControM server called prod. 
and the minus s I use to specify the query. And here I, I would like to see all run as users of all agents connect to this control M. And the output saying that is array is valid for all agents. We don't see here the password for any account. I would like to show how to include a new user using the same command. So here we have the same CTM config server, run as user add, the same control M, and now a little difference here, that's the agent name. So the user B is valid only for this specific agent and a password. Press enter, we have here the return saying the user was created with success. And I use the same run as users get to show that the user B is here. It's also possible to remove the user. I will put here an example. So the same command with delete, specifying the content server, the agent, and the user. And here we have the confirmation saying that the user is deleted. And I will run the get again just to show that we have only user A here. On CCM, it was usually did here in the secured run as. It's the dev, I will go back to prod. So here we have the only user here, that's the user A. I would like to talk about the second scenario. And here we will see accounts of MST being transferred from two different EMs, dev and prod. Here I have the prod and I will show that the MST have one account, I will remove so I can show the entire process. Back to dev, I will show the account that will be transferred to prod. Here we have one account called FTP dev, that's working perfect on this environment. And I will show the command to export this account using the API. Screen the screen. Okay, here we have a different command. So it's CTM deploy connection profiles get the minus S and specifying the query. So I would like to export accounts from dev control M of this specific agent and the type set to file transfer. The same command can, can be used to export accounts of other CMs. And here the minus E dev saying that it's about dev. I will not redirect the, the output to a file yet. And you will see the output that is a, that's a JSON format with all details of this FTP dev account. So here we have the user, uh, the host name, the home directory, the target, all information related to this account. Now I will do the same command, sending the output to a file, ifg.json, and now I will open this file the same thing that we have here. Okay, uh, just to make fast, I already have another JSON file here that was updated, replacing dev by prod, every place. And during the export, we don't see the, the password of any account, so it's mandatory to input the password here manually, okay? I already have this file saved and I will show how to import this file on the prod environment. So the command for this is ctm build, 
I specify the name of the JSON file and the minus E saying that the build will go to the prod environment. Prod control end. So here, uh, the build validates this file and check if everything is okay. In the output, we can see uh, that one connection profile is valid. And the next step is the deploy of this JSON file to prod. Okay, perfect. Now we see here that one connection profile was successful deployed. And I will go here to the CCM of the prod environment and check if the connection profile is here. So now we have here the FTP prod account that we just imported. I will validate the account. So everything is working perfectly. If you have a lot of accounts inside the IMFT or AFT, it will work the same way, okay? Uh, the one thing that needs to be placed manually is the password. With Automation API, we manage application accounts without having access to Control ME Configuration Manager. And it's pretty cool because some activities that was usually under the responsibility of Control ME Administrator can now be executed by other users. So for the run as users account password, we saw that it can be made by the security team, for example, avoiding other people to have access to the new password, resulting in a more secure process. We also learned about the file transfer accounts that can now be managed using the API. We exported accounts to a JSON file, made chains, and imported on a new enterprise manager. So the, the dev to prod was done with success. Okay, I really hope that you found this information helpful. Thank you very much for taking time to join this webinar.